But what will that new AI have to say, you will ask? Well, the drafting process it has not been easy, um, but that was not what we were looking for, easy jobs. But I'm convinced that its content provides a pragmatic and an operational set of principles that will help us all to move ahead. And for me, it is fundamental to have that public administrations spending taxpayers' money should opt for the least constraining solution that meets the requirements for a given need, as simple as that. And such a rule as the default would <coughs> shield public authorities from the dangers of long-term lock-in. And it would also ensure, ladies and gentlemen, competition between suppliers for follow-up contracts and for services. And opting for closed solutions would be possible, but on the basis of a clear justification rather than because it was the easy option or whatever other reason. Several member states have comparable policies in place, and some of which have actually been inspired by the old EIF. For example, the comply or explain policy in the Netherlands. And in my view, the Commission has a unique opportunity with the adoption of version 2 to reform its lead in this area. But what do we do when there is no standard? That is the question. When there simply is a product everybody has to use in one way or another, but there is no specification descri describing the de facto standards it, it implements. With my colleagues in the college, I will seriously explore all options to ensure that significant market players cannot just choose to deny interoperability with their product. You no doubt remember that I have some experience with reticent um, high-tech companies, but that was already touched upon. I had to fight hard, and I had to fight for several years until Microsoft began to license uh, missing interoperability information. Now we are there, hopefully. Complex antitrust investigations followed by full proceedings are perhaps not the only way to increase interoperability. There are other ways. The Commission should not need to run an epic antitrust case every time software lacks interoperability. Come on, let's be serious. Wouldn't be nice to solve all such problems in one go. Therefore, I'm looking for a way to ensure companies offer the required information for licensing. We are thinking very hard about how that could